Hey Gem Squad, it's Sapphire. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing my Japanese study bag. This video is Japanese study bag. It looks really big on camera, but it's pretty small in person. This video sounds pretty cliche to be honest, but I think it would be useful if anyone else is learning Japanese to see what I use. This is the bag I will bring to my class, and it has almost all my Japanese learning stuff in it. Let's get started. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, I can't say it. If you watch anime, you probably will recognize this style bag. A lot of school-aged characters will have it because it's a very common bag in Japan, and it's really hard to get to if you don't live in Japan. I actually got this one used uh, from my my Japanese friend's mom's niece, so like his cousin. Yeah. And what's really nice about these is they actually, they're very sturdy. Like it's literally a box. And it opens on the bottom with a latch. And the latch is magnetic, so you just push this to latch it down. It's pretty neat. And I have... Whoop, and as you can see, I have a little keychain thing here. It's like, I don't remember what they're called, but it's little shoes uh, that you wear with a kimono. When you first open it up, it, it's got a very, very long top, and it says Tenshi no Hane, and I don't know what that means. But in the back here, it says Love P. I'm honestly not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's Love Pea. In the very front pocket, there's a zipper, and I don't use this pocket very often. So I don't even remember what's in it. A pen! There's... Drugs! Ibuprofen. Um, this was my purse for a little bit, so there's like still stuff from it left in there. Raisins. Or as I like to say, Furui Budo. In the next pocket from there, I have a bunch of these things. So these are like vocabulary drill stuff. Verbs. No. Yes. Verbs. This says Japanese sentence endings. And that's exactly what it is. This one that was um, kindly drawn on by some lovely small people also has a bunch of verbs in it. This is a bunch of adjectives, and this last one, which is my favorite, it has a bunch of sentences that like are pre-made. How to say a bunch of different kinds of sentences. It's really... This one was upside down. It's really useful. There's also like a highlighter down here. Man, this is like a video, I figure out what's in my Japanese bag. There's like a highlighter and a little paper sticking out. Now we have the main pockets, and there's a lot of stuff in here. So, the first book is uh, Japanese for Busy People. This is actually a library book right now. I haven't decided whether I want to buy it or yet. It's basically just a Japanese workbook. I have Japanese for Dummies! I'm only a part way through it because I'm not good at reading, but this book is amazing. I feel like it's really good if you already know some stuff. It just teaches, reteaches it. Lots of vocabulary here. Next I have this book, which I put Luna on just to make it prettier. This has a bunch of junk in it. Oh, I have my cheat sheet from that video before. I had the most useful phrase, wasura chatta. Wasura chatta. That's honestly it. It's just something that I'll write in if I need to. I don't use it that much. Then I have this cute little... It's supposed to say study book, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have a no there. Um. Oh well. I also use this one for Duolingo. Oh, I have a couple phrases in here. I have... Iterashai, kiyotsukete ne, tadaima. So this is just like another little notebook that I'll write stuff in. I'm pretty unorganized to be honest. Oh, I also have um, some Korean and uh, some Hebrew and a little Chinese. I have this little box of, uh, this old pocket box in there. And I keep my pencils and erasers and stuff in there. Rilakkuma pencil toppers, like they don't, they go on the sharp part to protect yourself from the pointiness when they're in the bag, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's where this went. A real Kuma keychain. I, this is, I need to be more organized. And I wanted to give an honorable mention to this book, which is actually what I use the most. It just doesn't fit in my Randa Sere. And inside it is a bunch of papers. Rilakkuma folder. 
that I keep a bunch of my lists in. Over here I have my notes. Ah, I'm dropping it. What is this doing here? And lastly but not leastly, I have this book. I love this book a lot. Sponsored by Bioi La Fiate de Mente. No, it's not. I wish it was. Please sponsor me. I love your book. It's an etiquette guide to Japan. I really like this book because it goes over everything and it starts at like the history of Japan and why why they are the way they are. So like they have origins of Japanese etiquette, the rule of harmony, the versatile society, the samurai legends. But when it comes to actual etiquette, they have people watching etiquette, criticism taboos, vague language, bath and toilet protocol, shaking hands the Japanese way, tea ceremony protocol, dating in Japan, and even the protocol of seating. It's very in-depth, but very interesting. That is the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to give it a like, because if you liked the video, then like the video. Comment down below if you like these kinds of videos, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, or not like this, because I make the randomest kind of videos, but if you want to see more of my face, then turn on the post notification so you can get a notification every time I post. Sorry my bed is so noisy. Thank you for watching. Mite kurete arigato. Jaa mata. See ya.